Those super film buffs who may remember a movie of the 1960s, I think, called A Face in the Crowd. If you do remember it, you'll remember there was a heavy blues track. It was played by two old guys from way down south, some little village, I think. And they were called Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry. And as a result of that movie, I think they got offered a few tours, which they otherwise would never have left those, those areas. But they did, and they came to England. And they were due to record with a, a, recording, a recording manager called Dennis Preston, I remember. And for some reason or other, Dennis Preston got it into his head that a piano player would be an interesting addition. Now they'd worked together for 30, 40 years, just guitar and harmonica and singing, and they'd never had an additional person. So when I arrived at the studio, because Dennis Preston asked me to come, they looked upon me like some kind of a weirdo. Well, what is he doing here in our studio? And they didn't really want me, but Dennis said, go, go and play with me. It started off with the weirdest thing. Normally speaking, when you don't know two artists anyway, you rehearse a number, you work out how it's gonna go, and you do it. They wouldn't. They said, listen, kid, play when we play. That's it. Okay, put on the red light, please. Just fit it in, fit in how you can. They thought I was never gonna fit in and they just started playing. And I had to sort of find my way in. And over the session, which we recorded, I don't know how many numbers, because it was recorded, and there is a recording out of it. I, I can't remember how many numbers we did, but over the next two or three numbers, I think they got to like me, because now they were starting to call me Dave. Sonny Terry played the harmonica, Brownie McGee must have played, he played the guitar and he also played a bit of piano. And he said, hey Dave, let's do a piano duet. All I do know is we ended up very good friends and, and, and uh, very close. I was very surprised that they accepted me into their little coterie of music because you know, I come from London. I don't, I'm 57,000 miles away from the kind of life, the lifestyle that they had, the lifestyle that they knew down in the, in the very dismal south among the poorest of the poor. Now, these two guys were just wonderful. So I learned a great deal. I learned much more from them than they learned from me, I'll tell you that. And, um, it was a very exciting and good, very good, very great fun for me and a, and a very great learning curve for me as well. And indeed, when it was over, Brownie phoned me up and said, listen, we're doing the tour over the whole of Britain. You've got to come with us, kid. You've got to come with us. But I couldn't because I was doing a lot of other work at the time. And so I had to let it go. But my experience with Brownie McGee and Sonny Terry will never be forgotten. Mm -hmm.